Well, how do you get sixth graders interested in math? Trinity Christian Academy in Addison found a rather unique way to make the learning fun. Photojournalist Mike Kinney shows us how they turned the classroom into Main Street. That's seven to the second power, so that would be 49. Plus 250. Are you sure it's 475? Today is called Math to the Future. How much money do you have? So in every room, they have a different task that they need to complete. Check all your prices. We decided to build um, a town and give them a taste of the real, real world and help them to see how math can be used. We've got a grocery store. We've got an operating room. Every single place they're working together in these groups in order to practice these math concepts that they've been learning throughout the year. So you have to multiply three and twenty-one. They're showing us how math is related to real life. I try to answer the question: When are we ever going to need to know this? And the answer is really. You're always going to need to know it. We want these students to know that they're going to be using this later in life. Going into a restaurant, an Italian restaurant, and having to think through what am I supposed to tip here? How is this tax calculated? If I have this much money, how do I budget it to make sure that we all get exactly what we want today? We're losing blood. In the emergency room, they have wounds on these bodies, and these wounds, I say, look a lot like a math problem. And they need to find the answers to these math problems using the correct order of operations, which is why we made it that operating room. I need you to go back through, see if you can find your mistake. It's a more fun way to learn it than just sitting down and doing the problems. The same math, but it's just a more fun way to do it. We love to see students walk into these classrooms and just excited to be there. Definitely the most interactive sixth grade math class yes. I've ever seen. That's going to do it for us at 4 o'clock, everyone. Thanks for watching. The News at 5, coming up next.